welcome back. Hello. So we have, uh, we got, we got $5,000 from that, uh, minigame last time. We buy another seed slot. What's up, crazy So we can now, we can now take, uh, eight plants with us instead of seven. And, uh, that'll come in handy. I th actually, no, I don't think we even need that for this mission, because this is the one where I use only, uh, one-time use plants. And oh, we, don't, we don't have enough of those to fill out all eight seed slots, so I just take Chomper to fill it out. Uh, so this is, um, very <laughs> difficult, to say the least. I'm guessing Especially since, the, if you can see, this level has three huge waves of zombies. Oh, wow. I'm guessing the kelp is... Uh, yeah, so that's that's a one-time use. We'll, uh, we'll see that soon, and I'll, uh, explain it. I, I sped up quite a bit of that, because yeah, this best. mission was... This, this, this level is long. Um, most of this video is probably this level, I think. Oh, god. <laughs> it's okay. It's, uh... Oh, and you're well, using walnuts. Yeah, yeah, I, I decided, you know, walnuts are one-time use, in a sense. <laughs> I mean, that You use them ever. once, they, they don't do damage, they... You plant them, and they die, eventually. I, I don't think this would be doable without walnuts, with the plants right. I have now, at least. Alright, hopefully the thread will give us a break. Yeah. We'll give you a break, I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> You're not, uh, <laughs> not heavily involved with the gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I cheerlead. Yeah, He's the moral support. Yeah, I tell jokes. Yeah. <laughs> if you uh, you wanna, all right, I know you've been itching for this, <laughs> okay. so if you wanna, you wanna go ahead and all right, tell let's start a joke. off with a knock knock. Uh, who's there? Leaf. Leaf who? <laughs> Leaf me alone. It's what? Not a joke. <laughs> Yeah, Where do you joke. find these? Do you just it's Google search bad just... plant jokes? No, I search plant jokes. Okay, well, that's <laughs> is, a very the loose best. definition of the word joke. <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, it's wordplay. -ish. It's... <laughs> but it's... Uh, okay, here's here's one uh, that's somewhat relevant. What do you cur uh, cartographers give their sweethearts on Valentine's Day? Um... This is horrible. This is the worst joke ever. Does this have to do with plants? And or zombies? Compass roses! Oh... Well, that's at least a joke, if not a good one. <laughs> I have no idea what a compass rose is. Compass rose is the... It's the thing on a map that has the cardinal directions, northeast, southwest. Uh, I, just, I just call that the compass. Well, it's called a compass rose. Unless... Um, alright, so, one thing is, I use a lot of sunflowers on this map, because, <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of real estate and not a whole lot to do with it, uh, since these plants tend to have either a high price or a long cooldown or both, and, you know, they get rid of themselves, so they free up their own slot pretty quickly. True that, true that. Um, so we have, we have some tangle kelp there, you can see... It's kind of menacing looking. Yeah, uh, it looks you pretty just, evil. You put it directly in the water, and uh, it does things, which we'll see soon. Also, uh, I, I use lily pads as uh, makeshift walnuts. They, uh, <laughs> they're not nearly as durable, but they buy a little bit of extra time for things to recharge, if that's necessary. Fair enough. Crap. Oh. You can see the tangle kelp will uh, in a second here. You grab those guys, pull them in the water. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Just take them down to drown them. Apparently, like, what is down there? I'm really curious. Yeah. You have zombies. Oh, wow. I mean, other than drown. How do uh, zombies don't drown? Maybe the tangle kelp is bringing them down and then they just come back up for the wave. Like, um. you know. I think they just stay down there at the bottom of my pool. They just hold them down there. I know, actually, but like, you're... you know how the zombies pop up during like the, oh, the end of the... Oh, that's where they come from? <laughs> yeah, the breaking tangle... free of the tangle kelp then. Yeah, the, the tangle kelp just brings them down there. Wow, you have a lot of sun uh, yes. down there for a while, and then they just leave, and then the zombies are like, what is it? let's just go up here. <laughs> but you're really not solving any problems. Wow. Yeah. 
that's very true. Thanks. And uh, that actually that reminds me, I didn't didn't say this last video, but the uh, snorkel zombies almanac entry. Uh, it says zombies don't breathe. They don't need air. So why does snorkel zombie need a snorkel to swim underwater? Answer: peer pressure. <laughs> He's giving into peer pressure. He, he shouldn't do it, but All right, I, mean, I just hate the snorkel zombie. I get, I give that a two. And then we have the tangle kelp. Uh, <laughs> no tangle, tangle kelp's a little bit better, I think. Quote, I'm totally invisible, Tangle Kelp thinks to himself. <laughs> I'll hide here just below the surface, and nobody will see me. His friends tell him they can see him perfectly well, but he'll never change. <laughs> it's like the uh, opposite of the... Like, yeah, there's, there's maybe a message there, you know. You got the... What's it called? The Snorkel Zombie given in to peer pressure. But the Tangle Kelp, you know, his friends say one thing, he's not gonna let him... Not gonna let it change him. He's just gonna. He's gonna be who he is. Yeah, it's like the zombies are bad, and they uh, they don't have any will. Okay, so here <laughs> I'm woefully unprepared for that uh, um, pole vaulter. So I had to throw down a potato mine at the last second to uh, stop him from ruining everything. And then throw up a walnut to keep the falling zombie from ruining everything. Close, close. I also think, uh. 7,000 sun. In this level. Oh, we get past that. There's actually <laughs> okay. an achievement to get 8,000 sun in one level, uh. So I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone here? Fair enough. Gosh, it's gonna take him forever to get through that walnut down there. Yeah. I miss those spud mines. Yeah, I like the, uh, the, the, spud, the spadow that you get. Spadow. It's a good plant. A good old it just, days. It has, it has a very long cooldown. Or maybe it doesn't. I feel like it has a long cooldown when I was playing this. But, uh... It doesn't great. look like it's taken that long to recharge. Yeah. What are you I guess it's just the setup time is, is probably what I'm thinking of. Probably what I'm remembering. I feel like you should be putting more sunflowers down. Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Well, you have so much extra sun in space. Well, I think I think having that much space is helpful for uh, giving the potato mines enough time to arm themselves. If I ever put down too many uh, columns of sunflowers, then the potato mines will be a lot harder to use effectively. You can just put the sunflowers in the front and use the shield. Ah, but that's... <laughs> and I think the thread had a discussion on this earlier. I know, I know, if we, if we have to win by sacrificing innocent sunflowers, did we really win at all? Yeah. I mean, do we still have brains at the end of the day? Yes. But do we have sunflowers? Isn't that yes, what's really Yes, we still important? do, just not all of them. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well... I mean, it gives their life uh, a purpose. It's a pyrrhic pir yeah. victory, the term. The term would it, be. It gives their life purpose. Rather than just sitting I mean, their purpose is making sun. No, but right now, there's a bunch of sunflowers. Look, they're the, the they're the emotional support. They're the moral, or the morale, uh, backbone of, of our plant army. Yeah, more like bench warmers. No, no. Well, here, I guess I did. Yeah, okay. I just fucking, <laughs> everything I just said, mighty. turns out... Mr. High and mighty. It's okay, I'll protect it with a walnut, maybe. Probably not. I feel like that's something I would do. I mean, it's been a while since I recorded. Gosh, you're, you're still... We're up to 7,000 sun now. <laughs> yeah, and it's... Okay, I'm guessing... I love the scooter zombies. I, fu I fucking hate those guys. They are the worst. There's actually a very effective strategy, like, for the most part, you need instant kill stuff to kill them, but if you notice, while they eat stuff, they come up from above water, or come up from underwater. So a very effective way to kill them is to put a walnut on a lily pad, and then while they're eating that, you know, you give your pea shooters time to kill it. Mm. Fair enough. I do like the, uh, newspapers. <laughs> yeah. I like how the, the newspaper zombie's entire gimmick is kind of ruined with 
this type of setup since his newspaper will never break without him dying. <laughs> This is a very long level. Well, we're almost at the cool. end of it. We just got a bit more, and hey, we haven't we haven't lost any lawnmowers yet. Uh, oh, very yeah. true. Knock very on true. wood. Hey, achievement! No, I was just thinking. Going back to our lawnmower conversation. So you have six lawnmowers. Yeah. But your front yard is only five long. Uh, yep. And you can't use all six at once on your backyard. Well, you can. I have all six out there now, just sometimes they fall in the pool. I know, so why would you get sick? To protect the pool. That's just, that's, you bought an extra lawnmower just for the express purpose of protecting the pool? Yeah. Wow, that, you're thorough. You deserve to live, Mister. Always have a plan. Okay, so here things are getting pretty bad up top. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna lose. I have to use a sunflower as fodder there. I'm just trying to stall until I can get that cherry bomb up to kill the road cone zombie. And I managed to just barely pull it off. Yeah. Have to, a few right. sunflowers. Okay. Despite everything okay, I was Mr. Before, Hide have to do it. Have to. It's entirely necessary. You have to get rid of that pole vaulter's pole as soon as possible so that he moves more slowly. And if I if I have to throw a sunflower out there, that's what I have to do. As much mm -hmm. as I hate to do it. I still like the squash a lot in the pool. Pretty pretty solid. <laughs> Just he crushes the zombies underwater. <laughs> Pins them down to the bottom of the pool. But see, again, I guess that might. All right, that was effective. probably a very stupid move, putting that uh, potato vine there. Where I just did. It's okay though. I'll use another sunflower <laughs> to give it time to arm, and then end work. up using a cherry bomb. <laughs> so you just killed a civilian. Oh there. wait, I wasted a cherry bomb because <laughs> the potato mine was arming itself right there. Yeah, but at least you got the guy down there. The, the yeah, pool. that's true. <laughs> and I have that potato mine as a spare. Okay, there you go. so we've made it to the huge wave of zombies. Things are pretty much good on all the on the all the grass rows. But we still have to worry about the pool rows since the lawn mowers there will only kill one zombie. Oh gosh, that's a lo oh gosh. Yep. You gotta get a cherry bomb. <laughs> that's basically required. To not lose. I think, yeah, at this point, I pretty much just abandon the top two rows. Uh, you know, if the potato mine can do something, <laughs> it can help. If not, oh well. Oh wow. The that, well placed cherry bomb takes out the entire, uh, entire whatever, like, 50 <laughs> guys there. It's late. I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> It's late. But that's okay. We're filming this at 4 a.m. after it's oh, God flight. damn it! You see, I <laughs> misclicked with the tangle oh, kelp God. and put it in the entirely wrong row. Yeah. Uh, well, at least at this point, I can't lose. I find out you can't put <laughs> potato mines <laughs> on lily pads. It doesn't work. I guess that makes sense. I, yeah. I'm contemplating just using the chomper because at this point, I can't lose the, you know speed things up, but you gotta see it through. Uh, you gotta, gotta see it through. You know, the uh, the squash is almost up, Tangle Kelp's up now, we can just do that and we're all good. And we get a key! Keys! But it's to a lawnmower. Uh, you would be incorrect. It's actually the key, well, we'll see in a minute. First, we get uh, achievement. Don't pee in the pool. Don't use any pee shooters on a uh, pool level. We also get the sunny day achievement for getting 8,000 sun. And, uh, got the key to Crazy Dave's shop! Hey, so you got he, my car key. He has a shop in his car, so now instead of just, uh, occasionally being get X amount of money to get a new seed slot, you can buy all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, like another seed slot, uh, a, uh, some pool cleaners to replace those pool lawnmowers. Those will work a lot better. Uh, the rake is kinda crappy, whatever. 
Uh, those, those bottom two purple seed packets are upgrades for the uh, repeater and the sunflower. Uh, they're very expensive. Well, they're, they're pretty expensive, but they're also extremely great and like some of the best plants in the game. Yeah. So I'm going to be saving up for those. I like the ladders. Pretty crafty. Yeah, I mean, they gotta get over the ramp somehow. Oh, so, really, like, Crazy Dave had all this in his back, and he's yeah, just Yeah, he like, had all that in his trunk, but it was locked, it, he didn't have the key. Yeah, but we're in zombie apocalypse, and we're not thinking, like, hey, uh, maybe I should break the car window. He's a very well-fortified car. He, he <laughs> fortified it very well for the zombie apocalypse, but then he lost the key. And, like, he's gonna charge also, you money. Uh, you know, so I, I fucked up that uh, cherry bomb placement there, so it missed yeah, that I front post. That. I was very bad at clicking things when I recorded this. Are they just tiny for fun? Yes, so this is uh, you know, this is our, our level 5 mini game for World 3. They're tiny zombies, they move significantly faster, but also take like significantly fewer hits. Football zombies mm. still can just truck through everything. Yeah, I was wondering if they were moving faster or if it was just like the difference in their size yeah. made it appear. Yeah, it can be kind of hard to tell at first, but they are they're definitely moving noticeably faster once you uh yeah, when you look yeah. at it for a while. Like I just don't understand that he's going to ask for money that will have no worth. Well, like, look, what is he, he going to do with he What needs, is he going to do with $5,000? He needs the, the stuff to uh to fortify his own lawn, I'm sure, you know. He needs some sort of compensation. What isn't is this not like survival? You like you know what? We don't need to pay for things. Let's just yeah. He's being uh just just in case you know society gets to the point where money is valuable again. <laughs> um, he's crazy. He's, he, well, there's that. Oh, uh, meant to edit that out. Don't worry about it. I think I accidentally clicked <laughs> outside of the window and it automatically paused. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. Just ignore that. Uh, what happened? So we have. I mean, yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> I guess is the best way to explain it. He doesn't really need a rationale for anything that he does, because he's crazy. Um, as we have, you see our two pool cleaners now replacing the lawnmowers there. Uh, they now... I think they act just like normal lawnmowers. They'll, uh... They'll clear out the entire pool row when they go, instead of just the, you know, falling into the pool and taking out the one zombie that activated it. I feel like there's a party going down at the bottom of the pool. Well, there's a lot of probably blown up zombies and, you know, dust and ash. That, you actually have a lot more than six back or, uh, lawnmowers, because every time they fall in, you have another one the next level. Uh, that's true. Um, maybe I work for a lawnmower... And every time you every time you complete a level, you get money for each lawnmower, so you probably sell it like crazy big. That makes sense. Let's I probably really manufacture literal. lawnmowers for a living. Let's be really literal about the game mechanics. Yes, about a game where plants shoot at zombies. <laughs> we need to I rationalize mean, everything. I need to think of a plot. So, and it seems clear that you sell. Uh, like, lawn... I can't think of the word. Uh, conditioning stuff. Yeah. Like, Something I'm so articulate. Like that. So articulate tonight. <laughs> Alright, so this is a pretty chill level. We now... Doom and Doom Seed Co. We now get the Jalapeno. Oh. These would have been pretty helpful during, uh, 3-4. They'll just, yeah. uh, as I said, they'll blow up an entire row. And, uh... Yeah, they're good. You'll see them next time. Now we have uh, minigame number two here, which is a slot machine. Uh, so basically, you pay 25 sun to uh, yank the crank, and you get bonuses if you match two, and super bonuses if you match three. This time does or it just drops? Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like in in all daytime stages, sun just drops from the sky regularly. Okay. I was about to say, I, I thought all that was happening was that you just were trying to get sun, and I was like, can you just wait a really long time? Uh, yeah, well, you could, but then the zombies would get you. <laughs> right, and yeah. also, it would take a lot longer. Yeah. 
But yeah, you can see our goal is to get 2,000 sun. And you know, we, we got uh, 8,000 sun and it didn't take too long, so 2,000 sun should be no problem. Uh, it actually does take a while. This isn't the most uh, <laughs> the most involved of the mini games, but it's uh, it's nice for what it is. Um, also, if you notice, there's a uh, a bejeweled diamond. diamond on the slot machine. Um, so I didn't get to mention this last time, but at the end of the last mini game, you got a bejeweled diamond worth a thousand coins or a thousand dollars or whatever. You get one of those at the end of each mini game and puzzle. Uh, we haven't unlocked puzzles yet, but um, we'll get those later. You can, this is an option for one of the main menu. This is not a spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, where was I going with that? <laughs> All right, so there's bejeweled the jeweled you have things it, on the you, slot. You have a chance slots. to win the jewels. Uh, I, I would imagine if you uh, if you can match up several bejeweled things, you get you know a diamond worth a lot of money. But uh, that has never once happened. I've probably played through this mini game in its entirety three different times, and I've never never once gotten the bejeweled e even two bejeweled gems at once. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Bejeweled is a another puzzle game by PopCap Games. It's probably uh, one of their uh, one of their most well-known ones after Peggle. Ah, uh, Peggle. Also, I, I'm going to apologize to everyone. You're going to get mad. A everyone with OCD, you're going to get mad about <laughs> my plant placement. Uh, what happened was, I accidentally put that uh, the snow pea uh, at the top row in the, the fourth column instead of the second one. So it's like, okay, well, I'll just... When I fill up the uh, the second column of snow peas, I'll just use the fourth one for snow peas, and then I'll use the fifth one for regular oh, pea okay. shooters. But, um... So, bu so by the... <laughs> that's gonna take a while. Yeah. And I'm not sure that I ever actually get that many snow peas. The only time I ever played Peggle, I, I think I played it twice, but I don't remember the first time. I definitely remember like a mu like a few months ago, I was at home with my parents and we were trying to watch a DVD on my parents' Xbox and it wasn't working. Um, for some reason, like the Xbox just wasn't reading the DVD. Huh. So then I was just messing around and they had some reason downloaded a demo for Peggle. Wow, fast forward. Yeah, this speeds things up. This takes a while. So then I played like the demo of Peggle, which is like the first five levels. And my parents thought it was hilarious. Uh, and then we were just having a great time. And then suddenly the DVDs. Oh wait, real quick, when you interrupt you, you just got working. you saw a sun sun jackpot. Wow. Actually matched three of a kind sun, and you get like 500 or something ridiculous. Oh, but go good. go on and continue. Make it quick. You have like 10 seconds. We just finished the Peggle, and then it fixed the game. Peggle rules the world. Sure. Well done. Peggle Visual. is the skill simulator.